Welcome to the week two choral video. Once again, we're here with the simulator. Again, you can find the simulator at choralanguage.org slash simulator. Over on the right, we have the requirements for our program. This program kind of builds on what we learned in week one. The requirements are to create a program that asks the user for how many numbers to add, and then it uses a while loop to collect the numbers, accumulate the total as you go. Then, the requirements are to display the total of the numbers is, and then the number of the total. So with that in mind, let's think about the different variables that we're going to need to collect. Well, the first one is we need to ask the user for how many numbers. So we know right off the bat that we're going to need one called how many numbers. Then for sure we're going to need a total. What else do we need? We're going to be asking the user for a number. So let's say number to add. And one more that we're going to need that you'll see here in a second is a count. OK, so once we have um, declared our variables, then I typically like to initialize them. And if the first thing we're going to do with a variable is to get input from it. I don't generally initialize it. But if we're going to do something else, like we're going to uh, do a calculation, I want to always initialize them. So I'm going to say total equals zero and count equals zero. OK. All right. So according to our requirements, the first thing we really need to do here is ask the user for how many numbers they want to add. And so let's put how many numbers do you want to add, question mark. I'm going to put a slash n at the end here. Remember, it goes to output. And then we're going to say how many numbers. Notice it matters what you call these. This has to match this exactly, including the case upper and, down, upper and lower. And we're going to say get next input. And I'm going to erase these inputs and let's say, let's do basically what we did last time. So we're going to say that number will be four. Now, we want to use a while loop. Now we haven't used a while loop, let, while loop yet, but it's not too hard. If you, can, if you can spell while, you're there. So what we need to do is we need to have a logical expression that tells us when, how, when we should continue to be in the while loop. So not when we should get out, but while, when we should continue in it. So it needs to be true to start with, and then when it becomes false, it leaves the loop. So we're going to say while well, count is less than how many numbers. OK, so this applies that count is going to have to go up, right? OK, now anything that's inside of our while loop, we don't use an end while or squiggly braces or anything like that. So while we're inside the loop, we put three spaces to indent to tell the computer that we're in the while loop. So the first thing we need to do while we're in the while loop is we need to connect, collect the numbers to add. So we need to say, enter a number to add. I'm going to put that on there to output. Then we're going to set number to add equal to get next input. Now we said we had four of these, so we're going to put a space after four and go 10, 20, 30, 40. And those will be the inputs. Now notice I didn't type put four times because the while loop is going to take care of that. It's going to go down to the end of the while loop and it's going to come back and it's going to do it again and it's going to do it again and it's going to do it again. In this case, it's going to do it four times. And then the last thing we need to do in the while loop is we need to, well, two things. Let's accumulate the total, meaning we need to start the total and keep adding to it as we go. We do that like this. Total equals total itself plus what we typed in in number to add. So it will accumulate. And then we have to make sure that we add to count or else we'll never get out of the while loop. It will continue to be true forever. And we don't want that. We don't want to hang around for that long. OK, let's finish off the rest of our program here. We're going to put the total of the numbers 
is a space and then the word total, the variable total. All right, just to go over this really quick, we've defined our variables. We ask the user how many he wants to add. We have a while loop loop now that's going to continue to loop until count is no longer less than how many. It could be equal and it will drop out. And we had to indent to tell the computer that we're still in the while loop. And then we're putting our output out. So let's see what happens. First, let's click Enter Execution. Again, it went through and it checked our syntax. We're going to step. And let's make it medium here. We're going to run and see what happens. OK. It's going through the while loop. And it drops out. So notice it asked for numbers to add one, two, three, four times, and then it displayed the total. Now, I started my count at zero, and I continued to do it while it was less than how many numbers, or less than four. If I had started at one, it would have only done it three times. If you, you can start at one, but you have to change it for it to be count equals how many numbers. That gives you one more time in. Okay, I hope this has helped you to learn a little bit about how to use a while loop with variables. I hope you have a great time this week.